7 right now this morning, 10 people, including several children, are recovering from injuries suffered in a gas explosion in the Bronx. Wait until you see this happened at a residence in Morris Park, blowing out windows and sending a door flying. CBS News' Natalie Dudrich joins us live from the scene on Paulding Avenue with the very latest. Natalie? Well, Chris and Mary, two of those children are listed in serious condition. They both suffered injuries to their legs. One underwent surgery, but they are expected to recover. Now, check out the scene here. You can see that most of the damage has been cleaned up. The windows are now boarded up. But just to give you a sense of how big this impact was, it blew this door right into power lines. So she was trying to jump out the window with her baby. Video shows Norma Galarza carrying her neighbor's baby girl. She caught the child in her arms after a gas explosion rocked this apartment building on Paulding Avenue just after 3 p.m. yesterday. The baby had her hair burned, her eyelashes burned. She's a six month year old baby. I was so scared for her life. Galarza said she acted quickly and called up to the mother, encouraging her to also drop her four year old girl down to several. Several neighbors waiting to help. I was begging her to throw it because she wanted to, but she was scared. But when I took my coat off and I, she saw that the baby had something to fall on, I, I could see her reaction that she felt like, okay, I could do this. And then she threw her. And then I grabbed, she fell right on my coat. And then I grabbed her like that. The explosion was so powerful, you can see it shattered windows and blew a door right off its hinges and sent it flying into power lines across the street. It was just a boom and everything exploded. I'm actually a veteran. Uh, it reminded me of being in Afghanistan. <laughs> being attacked by a mortar round. One tenant says they smelled gas. Gas explosions, they're uncommon, but they do happen. You know, if you have a gas leak and you have a source of ignition, this is what this is what can happen. Rescuers got everyone out. The FDNY says in total 10 people were injured, six of them children. Eight were taken to Jacoby Hospital, ranging in age from seven months old to 31 years old. A firefighter was also hurt, and the mother, who trusted dropping her kids down to strangers, was also rescued. She's a hero because I would never have been able to do that with my children, but she made it happen. Now, this building is obviously not safe to stay in, so the Red Cross stepped in to help two of the families find temporary housing. As for the cause, that's still under investigation. In the Morris Park section of the Bronx, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Oh, what a story, Natalie. Thank you so much. Five